The Envy is made up of a the bike main infrastructure in itself plus the fuel cell core unit which is a one kilowatt unit which is hybridised with a battery pack on board the bike. This provides a peak power to allow speeds of achieved, to be achieved up to 50 mile an hour with a range of about 100 miles. A fuel cell is a, an electrochemical device that produces power by way of the uh, electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Its main advantages over the internal combustion engine is its operation, where it is quiet, it has very few moving parts, clean emissions, the only byproduct of the action being water. For sure we could have looked at producing some kind of low, low slung sporty thing, which might have been slightly more seductive for a narrower sector of the market. But what's important about this vehicle is we want to reach as many um, potential users as possible and excite them about this technology. The key thing about remote communities, uh, particularly in developing countries, is that there's very little infrastructure, either in terms of roads or in terms of power. And this vehicle has been designed to be used both on paved roads and also quite rough roads. So as a solution, it's immediately practical. But the key thing is, the core unit that powers the vehicle can also be used to power um, other things in people's lives. The core is used to power the, the, the NV, but can also be used off-board the bike by detaching and using for a range of uses from a small portable generator in its own right to, say, an emergency backup supply for a, a small dwelling. So what you're doing is providing a twofold solution to an enormous infrastructure problem and that's got to be massively appealing to millions and millions of people. If we try and sell this technology on the basis of something worthy, the chances are people aren't going to buy it. The key thing is they look great and they're great fun to ride. The thing about traditional internal combustion engine bikes is that they're actually very complex. They need to be serviced very regularly, otherwise you're in a lot of trouble. The obvious advantage of this technology applied to a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler is that it's completely silent and produces no emissions at all. The, the Envy bike offers very practical, believable, usable transportation. I feel pretty sure that the, the future or a part of our future is sitting right behind me.